Salutations, Nicky Rickies. Welcome back to another video, and today we are doing the FNAF Plush Showcase once again. And today we have a lot of good plushes up and ready. So I say, without further ado, let's get into this. But before we do, I just want to say, if you guys want to submit your own, join my Discord server. Link in the description below. But yeah, and thank you guys so much for 211 subscribers. I love you guys all so much. And without further ado, let's start this video. Okay, starting us off, we have this incredible Grim Foxy plush. It looks so good. Personally, I think this body style is a lot more adorable than the original Funko. I would love to see it more in this type of style because, like, one, it just looks more cuddly, even though it's of a murderous animatronic. But I love the attention to detail, even though they had to simplify it because it is a plush. But I think they did a great job of simplifying it and getting all of its key points so you could tell which character it is. I think it looks amazing. The coloring is great. I love the fire on its belly. And I love the like the endoskeleton muzzle and the uh, yellow eye endoskeleton ears. And even got the eye patch. So all of a sudden, I th sorry, uh, <laughs> in all, all, all in all, I think it was a great plush. So great job. All right, next up, we have this gigantic plush lot. We have a bunch of FNAF plushes, and we have a little Amanas plushie in there. That's awesome. Anyways, so let's get to what um, what we're here for. But uh, first off, we have a custom Lefty plush, which looks really good. I love um, how it's, yet again, given the Funko style, but actually it's given black felt, unlike the actual one that's given gray. This one looks really, really good. I love it, personally and behind it it looks like it's like some kind of like green foxy or a glitch trap behind lefty it looks really good because i do really like how there's light green and not dark green um to it and i think they both complement each other very well and right beside it is a nightmare chica plushie it looks so so good little, the ha it has the correct color eyes given some tears the little cute mouth and right in front of it, we have a baby plush. I think it was given the original Funko body style, which honestly, I think looks better for baby. I think it looks really good on this one, and I it makes me think that maybe Funko could have done a better job. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. I, I love the baby plush, but this one is great representation of it. All right, next up, we have a Spring Bonnie right beside him, and that one looks really good. It's simplified, but still really good. You can tell it's in the same Funko body style as the rest of them, so that's always good that you're keeping with tradition. And behind it, we have a Nightmare on, and it looks super good. It's used from an original puppet, just given like the Nightmare on features, so that's always really good, and it's a good plush overall. We have Molten Freddy and Ma uh, Maskless Ennard. They both look extremely good. They have similar body styles, of course, but uh, Molten Freddy has the Funtime Freddy uh, head with like the additional features, and Ennard's face is actually... They both look really good. The bodies look great, and the head looks fantastic on both. And next we have Egg Baby, the best Five Nights at Freddy's character. <laughs> but... Um, I think it's really awesome that we're starting to see a lot more merch for him because he's more of a funny character, if anything, but I, I love him nonetheless. And next up, we have a Scrap Baby plush that looks incredible. I love this plush a lot, and honestly, I I hope you guys do, do too. Like, this is incredible. And right behind him is the better Vanny plush. I mean, Vanny plush. And it looks extremely good. I think it was done like really well. I like the coloring better way more than the one that we got. So, already, this person is already ahead of Funko, so great job. And finally, we have Clown Springtrap. I'm very happy that we're starting to see some plushies for Clown Springtrap. I think it looks great. I love how it was given the proper coloring. It was given, like, the different colored eyes, the cut-off ear, the purple hair, the lipstick. It was given everything. So, that was a whole plush lot, and I, all, all around, great, great job. Next up, we have a simple one, but still really, really good. We have a Carl the Cupcake one, and I really like this. It was given an actual play, and I find that adorable. I think it looks incredible. I love the detail on it, and uh, just the small attention to detail, like the teeth and like the uh, the black outer outline of the eyes, with the yellow, and there's the whisk. It's it's a great plush, and it makes me want to make my own eventually. I do want to make my own uh, custom 
a golden cupcake plush in the future but this one is amazing and i highly 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 recommend to make your own if you really like the cupcake style because this one is really well done and makes me inspired to do my own also makes me a tad bit hungry okay next up we have another plush plush slot and these are all fnaf vr characters so we have magician mangle that one looks super good it was given the big muzzle like the orangish skin to it the, the dark white fur with the uh, uh, top hat the dark eye and the endo on the side of the head looks really good overall and then we have uh i think it's like f like a f uh, flaming spring trap and i love the coloring on it it looks really really good it's very accurate too and i like overall i love it and i think it looks great um next up we have um inferno baby and honestly great job i really like how they added in the furnace of the tummy it looks super super good and i, I think uh it looks great overall and i think we need to see more of these types of plushies made Next we have Flamethrower Endo, which is one of my favorites out of this lot. It looks really good. The eyes are adorable. And the body looks really good. It looks like it's on fire. All he needs is a flamethrower and then up, up, and away he goes. And next, and definitely not least, we have uh, like Fire Chica or Flame Chica. Um, she's completely on fire as well as her cupcake. And they both have good coloring. It's black to like show like like the burnt honor so it's really good i love the eyes and the no like well not really the nose it's more of like the beak and the cupcake has amazing attention to detail like um even though it's very simple just uh, gray and black and an orange orange whisk but like it still looks really good nonetheless overall great plush slot all right next up we have three fnaf vr plushies and these look incredible these are made from the like the ape at mayhem event i think but uh we have um system era toy bonnie who looks really good it's it, like it is super accurate amazingly detailed the red and the uh, orange or yellow looks really good on toy uh, toy bonnie plush and yet again it looks amazing and then we have vr toy freddy it looks extremely good um, overall and I really really like the top hat and I like the headset and everything and next up we have um, uh, high score toy chica without the beak this one looks incredible and I'm very very impressed uh, on how this came out it looks really really good I love the attention to detail like the black and purple looks so good the bib looks amazing and the the eyes look creepy as fuck and for a plush like for a plush set these are extremely good keep up the good work all right next up we have this accurate looking freddy plush and it looks like it has an endoskeleton over its suit and it looks incredible i really like the accuracy that it was given and the attention to detail that this plush was given as well the mask looks great the eyes like it looks like the mask can come off and everything as well as the whole body like itself it looks really good i really like how the style is and it's very unique especially from all the other ones i've seen in the past this one looks really really good i love this freddy plush and it like I'm, I'm curious what a whole set of the FNAF characters would look like in this type of style. Alright, next up is another one that's very similar to this body style. It's an endoskeleton of this version. And it looks like basically the, the exact same. It just looks like it has no suit on. So it could be it without its suit. And if so, that's extremely awesome. If not, then great job for like comparison because they look very, very similar in size and height and i really like uh, i really like it overall the gray looks really good like good color like good like, like it was a proper uh, uh, shade of gray that it was given good eyes like uh, good ears it was just given a great body overall the like the rib cage or like the endo rib cage looks really good and overall it looks great all right next up we have jacko chica 
This looks so good. One, this is in the spirit of Halloween. Awesome. And two, this is so good. It has so much attention to the detail. The Funko style it was given, it was really good. It definitely stands out from a lot of the other ones I've seen in the past. But I the, the, got the yellow eyes, the orange body, the ripped up bib, the monster teeth. It has everything a Jacko Chica should have. And since Jacko Chica has been getting a lot of popularity since Jacko Chica is now on FNAF AR, I think it's only appropriate that she's starting to get a little more of the plush love in the custom plush community. Overall, great plush, and I'm super, super happy to see more being made. All right, next up we have another set of four. We have Scrap Baby, which looks really good. Kind of similar to the other one, but this one looks like completely homemade, I think. But uh, the hair looks good, I like the makeup and all the detail looks good around it. And overall, it's a great looking plush. And right beside it is Scrap Trap. Uh, uh, this is customized from an actual spring trap, it looks like. And a great job at look, uh, like uh, how it turned out, because like the tearing looks good. Like. He was given the proper withering to give it like more of a scrap trap vibe. He was given the buck teeth that his scrap trap has, like and the feet, the tear, and like the missing arm. Overall, great job. And next to it are the two molten Freddies, both a little bit of different in the body type, but similar in color, and also mask, but also not at the same time. They both look fantastic. Personally, I like the one closest to uh, Scrap Trap more, but the one similar in height is the one on the end. Overall, they all look great, and I'm very, very, very impressed. Last, and definitely not least, we have another Jacko Chica, and this looks really good. It looks really good, but it also looks like a black version of Jacko Chica, I think. But, I don't know, it could just be me, but um, I still think it looks incredible. And I think it was a great job attention to the detail. I think it was great overall to make it. The body looks very nice. Uh, the bib, the head is very accurate to a Chica head. And it was given the nightmare details that you see in the other nightmare plushes, like uh, the teeth, uh, the ripped up bib, um, the, like, the ripped up uh, feathers at the top, orange eyes. It has everything that you would see on the Jacko Chica. It looks really good overall and I'm very, very impressed. And that, my friends, is all the plushes we have for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching, but before we get any further, I want to say all credit goes to the people who made the plushes, not me. So if you're going to say thank you or great job on any to anyone, it's the people who made these. So say good job or like say like, like uh, give them congratulations in the comments below. If you want to have your plushes featured, make sure you guys follow the link in the description below to my Discord server where you guys will be able to submit 24-7 and I'll always be accepting customs for the next video. Um, so, yeah. With that being said, I think that's going to do it for this video. So, I want to make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. All that good stuff. And if you guys are new, please consider joining the Nickrick family for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Roll the credits.